All right. Hey, guys, welcome to Boy Today, we are joined by, in my mind, a legend in the <laughs> health space, and that is Ken Schwartz. And also, Ken is a genius. Ken, man, thank you for being here. Oh, glad to be on. Yeah, I was just listening to your interview with uh, one of my favorite people, Charlie Robinson. I'm still trying oh. to get Marielle here into macroaggressions, um, but I love that podcast you did with him. And now oh. Ken is the founder and chief scientist under behind C60. Purple power. Yeah. Purple yep. power. C60, C60 purple, purple power. Yes. Purple yes. Power. And uh, Ken, we're hoping to learn more about C60 purple power today, but thank you, man. Okay. Yeah. And I can discuss other things as well. So, but I'd probably just would talk about, uh, you know, cause nobody know. very few people know about carbon 60. It's, it's kind of like that in uh, pre-adapter stage. <laughs> it's like CBDs were back in you know, 2010 and now everybody knows about them, but back then hardly anybody did. Well, I'm hoping to expand people's knowledge on the subject because I've read quite a bit about it and the things that it can do for the body, whether preventative or just helping certain ailments is pretty amazing. Now, how did you even come across it? I've read a little bit about your background. Yeah, well, I was working on a, uh, the, I was a kind of project leader of the uh, metal oxygen fusion reactor. So that's a, and one of the things is that I'm going through the uh, materials of other people who have researched this similar, similar uh, situations, even though they didn't know they were doing that, you know, it was the late doctor this and the late doctor that. So I didn't want to end up in that category. Neither did I want any <laughs> of my my uh, team to end up there. So, you know, and these were professional scientists and they were, they, you know, they knew what they were doing, everything that they knew. Uh, we found out later <laughs> a couple flaws they made, but uh, but we didn't want to, you know, it could be some sort of unknown type of radiation. So I went looking for something to protect myself and my team. And I came across this stuff called carbon 60. Its science name is Buckminster Fullerene. It's because, uh, you know, remember Buckminster Fuller used to make those geodesic domes. OK. And not only that, he also predicted the existence of this molecule in like the 70s, mm -hmm. early 70s. And he predicted it would have great health benefits. Huh. And that was like two decades before it was discovered. That so that's kind weird. of yeah, that's kind of that's what's kind of one of the reasons they named it a Buckminster Fuller. Well, was he around to be vindic vindicated upon its no, discovery? He passed, he passed away years and years before it was mm -hmm. even discovered. So. Yeah, but okay. that, that was just, that's one of the interesting uh, little side things. And uh, so anyway, what I read about, they basically gave carbon-60. Carbon-60, by the way, doesn't have any solubility in water, so it has to be dissolved in an oil. And uh, in this case, I think the rats were using olive oil. So they gave one set of rats uh, carbon-60, and then the other set of rats didn't get it. Then they hit them with a fatal dose of radiation. And like all pretty much all the C60 rats lived when all the control rats immediately died. And there's a couple studies like that. So after I heard that, I said, well, that's the stuff I want to get. So I got it from a couple of sources and we were taking it during the experimentation, which came out successfully. And uh, oh, and we're all still alive, by the way. Mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> so I guess it did do its job. But uh, the things I just kept kind of using it afterwards because things like I used to get like you'd eat the afternoon blahs, right? You you'd go out, eat lunch and then like two o'clock, you want to go take a nap. That kind of went away. And then uh, I used to Right, drive motorbikes a lot, dirt bikes. And uh, so I had a few aches and pains from bones and other injuries that occurred, and those kind of faded down. And then the thing that was really amazing about seven months after I'd started taking C60, I went into the eye doctor, the optometrist, and my macular degeneration had disappeared. And he'd never seen that happen before in his many decades of, uh, of practice. Yeah. Now, Ken, I worked with a, uh, well, I worked for a company that basically licensed out software to nonprofits. And I worked with one of like the biggest um, macular degeneration, like nonprofits and why I didn't hear anything about C60. I worked very close with them. I would drive to their office, sit down for meetings. I never heard anything about C60. So like, can we speculate for just a second why it's, it's almost like this secret being held under wraps? Well, I don't know if it's, it's just because probably they don't know. Well, the thing is after I discovered that, but you know, of course, one thing is just a fluke, right? It's just, well, you know, of course. Yeah. And so actually my, my electrical engineer, Gary Rodriguez had developed severe wet macular degeneration and, uh, and you know, that type two diabetes kind of runs the family. And so I made a formulation of him with C60 and MCT coconut oil because MCTs can be turned into ketones by your liver real quickly. And then your cells can use them as a flex fuel. So they don't have to use glucose. They can use MCT coconut oil. And that's, that's if you do have a uh, glucose problems out there probably having a little MCT oil in your diet would be a really, really good thing. And of course, all the keto guys like it. 
-hmm. So, and so he was taking about a tablespoon a day for a year, about a year and a half. And his wet macular degeneration completely disappeared much severe than mine. We used to be able to post his before and after medical pictures, but since that was making claims, you know, by some people said we had to take it down, but you know, the inside of, there's a few places you can still find it. Uh, but the inside of his eyeball had all kinds of lesions on it and they completely went away. That's amazing. And, uh, yeah. We've also have a doctor, Loretta. I won't say her last name. She teaches somewhere. And uh, she had the same thing happen to her she, with, uh, she was using not my product, but another product from an, a, a friendly company that's uh, cause we, a lot of, you know, and that's another thing about the C60 business. You know, I know who you're we, talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. When yeah. we were, uh, you know, when the comp when, and originally you see, there was just a handful of companies that were selling C60 products. And then Cliff High mentioned it on the Sarah Westall show. I'd saved his life. And then, you know, kind of went through the, the ceiling for everybody. And, uh, but then, you know, after it became popular, we had a lot of these fly-by-nighters come on where, you know, they don't have any C60 in their product. They yeah. don't have really low levels of it or they have like low quality and, you know, they do other things. So, and now you have to be careful. Before it was okay because everybody in the industry, you know, made a product. They used it for themselves and their family. But uh, that's kind of changed. So I could probably talk about things you want to look for uh, in some 60 product later in the show. Yeah, we would love to hear about that. It might be useful. Now, you guys have how many different products? I know you have C60 in several different carrier oil. In the C60 Purple Power brand. Yeah, yes. that's yeah. Yeah, and so, so we, we actually have a thing called Shop C60 now. That's actually, if you go look for us, you can just go to okay. C60 Purple Power. It takes it there, Shop C60. So we have other things. We're going to have Advantage C60. That's like another really uh, higher, a different type brand of C60. Same stuff. Uh, we got uh, we got the C60 Purple Power stuff. We have uh, C60 Sexy. And uh, we also have like C60 in a little, uh, it's like a 30. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you. Just a second. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I had, um, I had gone looking before I purchased, made my first c60 purple power purchase and went to ebay and done a search just to get an idea of what's out there and i saw so many questionable products but i always like to do yeah. a quick like price search and uh yeah ultimately ended up like playing it safe <laughs> went with um you know c60 purple power used macro aggressions promo code and i bought some for us bought it for my parents yeah after we felt great yeah so yeah this is uh yeah we have also uh packets these okay, are MCP that's cooking oil. There's, you know you put it in your your uh, coffee in the morning, get your keto coffee, and also, you know, you can throw it in a purse or backpack or whatever. So it's a, they're really easy to do. We have them 30 packs in that. So that's kind of what we did. We, we And we'll have, we also have a guy that's, he's coming on soon. Uh, he has like a diffuser that you can mm -hmm. uh, put in oh, your room and breathe. That's cool. Into, I like that's, that. That's, yeah, so that, that'll be coming on at Shop C60. So it's going to get like a store for a whole bunch of C60, different C60 products there. And okay, we're just, C60 cool. Purple Power is one of those. So we just found, so it's, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, most of the producers, well, the producers originally, they were all good guys that made quality products. It's just now it's kind of, kind of little sketchy. So you just that's, have to be careful. Yeah. I just, that's why I wanted to be clear about like, you know, we want to make sure that all of our viewers are, are, that are watching are like buying from reputable sources. Yeah. Is there any like red no. flags? I mean, maybe just while we're on the subject that. Well, I'll just, I'll just go over the three things you want to look for. Yeah. First, you want to look for 99.99% pure C60 or 99.98%. And that's because that C60 is going to come from a sublimated source. And there's a there's a thing, it's sublimation you might remember from a high school chemistry class. It's like the cousin of evaporation. It's when a solid turns into a gas, then back into a solid. Mm -hmm. So basically the way they make C60 is they have two carbon rods in a like a light helium atmosphere, about one-tenth the pressure of the earth, and they run a big electrical current through it. And if you do it right, about 10% of the carbon turns into C60. And then comes the purification method. Now we use the sublimated stuff where they basically put the, the C16 ashes in a sublimator, heat it up to about 400 degrees Celsius. And the C60 turns into a vapor and floats to the other side of the sublimator where it condenses on the plates. And that's how we get our 99.99% C60. Now, a lot of other C60 is purified from that method using solvents, primarily methyl benzene. It's toluene, which is kind of a strong industrial solvent you know it's a benzene you don't really want to ingest that and then what they do after they purify it then they just bake it off again and again and again till they see how much you know until they try to get it all off but it never really all goes away and and so that's why so that's why you want to go for 99.99 percent pure or maybe 99.98 percent because that's probably a sublimated product because like if you see something that's 99.9 percent 
pure C60, that other 0.1% is going to be solvent, you know, methyl benzene, yeah. or it's 99.5 or whatever, or whatever it is. So, so you just, you want to look, what you really want to look for is sublimated C60. And pretty much anybody that sells C60, sublimated C60 is going to tell you it's sublimated right off the top because that just shows that it's there's no, you know, industrial solvents in there, which is you're kind of avoiding the whole point of taking C60. Is kind of, <laughs> so why would you have it in your C60? And so those are the two things. And then the, the final thing is really the carrier oils because C60 has no solubility in water. There, there is a polyhydroxinated form, but that's really used for scientific testing and it's really expensive. And it is it's, it has to be injected pretty much. So it's uh, not the stuff. So pretty much what you're going to look for is something C60 dissolved in an oil. And we have three, you know, there's the, the Goldilocks things of oils. There's the oils that, you know, have a really long shelf life, but are kind of inflammatory. And the things like canola oil or sunflower oil or safflower oil or soybean oil or coin oil. Quite frankly, you shouldn't be eating any of these oils. They're just really bad for your health, especially the, I'm sorry, the fried foods. Are, you know how bad those are for your health. Oh, I know yeah, they yeah. taste good, but... You know, they're bad for your health. So you, those are like just, they're inflammatory because they have high levels of omega sixes and nines. And then there's other oils on the other side, like fish oil, hemp seed oil, flax seed oil. And they're really healthy oils for you because they have a high omega three uh, level. But the problem with it, those is they go rancid really quickly. In fact, if you ever buy fish oil or hemp seed oil or flax seed oil, please buy it out of the refrigerated section of your health food store. Right. Because, you know, if you buy it off the shelf, there's a good chance it could be rancid and that it would be bad for you. So what we did is we just put them in the Goldilocks selection. So we have it in olive oil, you know, extra virgin, all, all, orga all organic olive oil. And of course, we all know the Mediterranean diet and people have been using olive oil since, you know, thousands and thousands of years. And then problem is, is when I first went into C60, you know, got some for a crew, everything was in extra virgin olive oil. And I kind of have a sensitive digestive system. So if I took like an ounce of olive oil, <laughs> I'd be visiting the bathroom. Before <laughs> the so what I did for myself originally is I made it, I, I dissolved C60 into, into avocado oil, which is, is, is it tastes much better than, than olive oil. It doesn't have that bite and it's much easier to digest and it still has lots of healthy benefits. Yeah, and we then, did the avocado oil for a while. Yeah. 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 I think that was and the then there's the MCT coconut oil, which I gave for my friend Gary and now he offers it because he had, you know, he had glucose processing issues, I should say. And uh, I just wanted to make something for those people. And other athletes also love it too. We've had some people, I won't mention their names. They were like mid-pack in their athletic field and they, they became their you know, national champions using C60. And uh, that's and especially because MCTs, you know, the ketones are like extra energy. And then the carbon 60, because it's a powerful antioxidant, it's, uh, it means you can your Krebs cycle can run more before you build, get the lactic acid buildup. So that means you can run farther or, you know, lift more weights or pedal that bike longer before, you know, you get, you start crashing out. So a lot of athletes like it. And one of our friendly competitors also supplies it to two racehorses in a, a country in Europe. And they've also had wonderful uh, uh, winning That's results, but I won't say, mention any names. <laughs> That's really That's cool. Smart, yeah. yeah. And no, we live in such a crazy world right now where just about everything we're putting into our body is somehow inflammatory. You know, we've moved over to kind of growing our own food, no pesticides. If any pesticides, they're completely natural and healthy on the body, like neem oil and stuff like that. And it's shocking to see how many people don't realize their everyday habits can be so inflammatory and cause such oxidative stress on the body. And no matter how many times I like try and tell them about it, you know, sometimes it's it's hard to get through people's heads that they are disservicing themselves, you know. And so I, I we love having more information on like how it is helping to reduce free radicals and oxidative stress in the body. Yeah, well, one thing, yeah, it it does that. But I like you as you said before, you know, C sixty is just one tool in the toolkit of getting better health. And it's not a magic pill that's going to cure it. I mean, if you want a better health, you're going to have to step forward. You're going to have to exactly. eating healthy, organic food. And, you know, you can't avoid everything, but you just have to work on it. You have to get proper exercise. You've got to uh, avoid stress. And that's just not, you know, phys you know, personal relationships, thinking wrong thoughts. Like, you know, one of the best things people can do 
to improve their mental health is to turn off television and stop watching it. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, stop the fear porn, you know, it's, it's in the hate. Oh, that's that's what so now, you know, mostly fur porn. Now they're, you know, it's the hate R Russia time. I oh, mean, yeah. sorry, it's, it's, that's not good for you. It's not good for the world. And, you know, you should like take a deeper view of what's going on on things. And that's, yeah, that's the number one thing. And then of course, you know, supplementation, because C60, you know, it, what C60 does, it lifts the oxidative burden your cells are under so that they're, they can operate the way that they, uh, you know, are meant to be when usually, if, especially for older people when you're much younger. But if you don't have the necessary nutrients and the other things set up, ready to go, it's it's not really going to help that much. You've got to be, if you want good health, you have to work for it these days. And yeah. you, yeah. you've got to read the labels on the contents of what you're eating. My general rule for that is if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. I love that rule. We say that all the time or eat like our ancestors used to yes. eat too. Yeah. So, and, and I, my personal thing, things I back up, I like, I found intermittent fasting is just amazing. Cause I, I had done, I ask how long you go for. I, I do. I go for the 18 hours usually. Ooh. Ooh. No, We've tried it. <laughs> I do 12 to 14 every yeah, day, that, but for me, that's not even hard. <laughs> yeah. The th thing is, as you get older, that window, that, fasting window or the, I guess the fasting time has to get, get larger. That's just okay. like, for instance, if I get, get up when I make it to 70, hopefully, you know, uh, it, I'll be, it's be probably, you get to basically one meal a day thing. Okay. That's, uh, so it's just, it's just when you're young, it doesn't matter. You know, you can, you know, if you're a teenager or in your twenties, it's probably intermittent fasting is probably not an issue. It's as you get older, that's, you know, then you have, you need more. And it's just because, you know, the glucogen in your liver has to, you need to burn it up. So then that just, you get the signals go out that tells all your fat cells start dumping, you know, carbs into the, or lipids into the bloodstream so the cells can use it. And so every day they're used to uh, dumping out instead of just filling up and getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, and, and yeah, I mean, I went down to my high school weight and uh, intermittent fasting. So I tried everything. I tried like the three whites, you know, you know, milk, cheese, and uh, whatever it is butter or whatever, you know, those things and, and, and all these other things. And none of them ever worked till I discovered intermittent fasting. So. I know. And I think every person, you know, is unique within itself too, you know, and finding the right things for you. When I discovered C60, I was actually working to clear out mold toxicity. So it wasn't something that I was actively doing to cause inflammation in the body. It was just other things in my environment that were causing it as well as like SIBO and a couple other things that, well, SIBO, I guess is in my control, but that's like a healthy person's small bacterial, uh, intestinal issue. So it's, it's, even if you try and do the right thing, you know, you're always going to be met with these environmental factors that are still going to cause it. So finding things to supplement with can help so much, you know, and we're super excited to try the other C60 products as well, because we enjoyed the first bottle quite a bit, but I yeah. do have to, and like, we, we do understand that when going through these processes, there is like a almost like a shedding time where you're shedding bad things. And so I noticed that with my SIBO at first, when I first started taking things to help it, I felt worse than I did better until a week into it. And then I started feeling relief. Now does C60 kind of have similar effects where it might not be right away that you feel great waking up and you might be shedding some bad stuff out of the body. Yeah. That's, there's some, yeah, there's some indication of that. Usually it lasts just a few days. Uh, see people notice that they have a lot of mouth metal. Uh, you know, the mercury fillings, like the first couple of days, they take it, they start feeling, they start like tasting metallic taste in their mouth. Because C60, you know, it's it's a, it has a slight positive to charge, a bit like mercury and other heavy metals. Most metals have a positive charge. And then, uh, and it's also just a couple of times bigger. So it seems to like knock inorganic mercury and tantalium and other things like that. Because uh, you're taking it in milligrams and those are in micrograms. So it knocks it out and then prevents its redeposition so your body can steal it, can grab it. And throw it out of the body, uh, and then and then you'll notice that. But uh, and C sixty eight probably should talk about how C sixty works. I'm going to go a little sciency on you. Okay. So, yeah, I was I was wondering if you were going to go there because I yeah you blew my mind when I was listening to you yeah. originally. Yeah. So this is the C sixty molecule, sixty carbon atom shaped like a little soccer ball, and uh, and of course it was discovered in 1985, solved a mystery in astronomy. They got a Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1996 for its discovery. And then it was really hard to make. But finally, when they had enough, they started doing the toxicity cut because this is a molecule common in outer space. It's found on Earth like the burnt wicks of your candles are like 0.2%, 2, 2, 5%. 
C60. So it's in our environment, but in low concentrations. And so like the first test, like the famous Botry study, they found C60, you know, it was going there as a toxicity study and they found it, it increased animal lifespans by 90%. Oof. And then they did another mouse study where it increased mice lifespans, but the mice also didn't have any cognitive decline. And, you know, as they got older and I talked about the radiation studies and they had ones, they've had lots of, they've had some human studies. They had a cream jet cream where C60 is because you can use C60 topically. And in Japanese women, it was found to significantly reduce uh, fine lines and wrinkles. And then they had another one where they put it on people's hair and it was found to increase the amount of hair growth. And anyone takes C60, you'll notice that your hair grows much faster and so do your nails. They grow. And so that's obviously supported. And then they've done some others. They found that C60 in human cells in like uh, test tubes, I guess, when you had C60, it really supported uh, protection against UV light. And also they did, it also moderated the, the behavior of mast cells in human mast cells in vitro. They didn't release the histamines all at once. It was kind of like a moderated mm -hmm. response. And then they took that to an animal study where they had some animals that were going to go, they were conditioned to an allergen. So the C60 ones didn't go into aphylactic shock and died where the control ones did. So C60 mm -hmm. has all that. And, uh, and then the probably the most interesting study is, you know, they had all these positive studies of C60. And the oh, oh by the way, the only form of positive C60, a good C60 is individually dissolved molecules. And that's like C60 in an oil or the polyhydroxinated one, which is the injection one that, you know, they mm -hmm. do in scientists. But in both those ways, the C60 has to disassociate, disassociate from the oil or the C60 loses all of its uh, hydroxyls on it. And so it becomes just a, you know, naked C60 molecule by itself. And that's when the health benefits occur. So they're just polyhydroxinated or oil or just delivery systems. It's when single molecules, there's a lot of studies out there about particles of C60, basically crystal shards of tens of thousands, you know, they're, they're not going to do any good. So, and some people sell products like that of particles of C60, like suspended in water. And so you're not going to get any health benefit from that. But, uh, but so that's, that's the one. So they finally did this study where they decided to go for extreme levels and, uh, they tested rats like one gram of C60 per kilogram of body weight. Now, if you did that with vitamin A, vitamin A or vitamin E or, or NAC, it would have killed the rats. But with C60, they found no toxicity. And, and that was amazing. So, and then eventually we figured out what was going on with other scientists through studies had figured out what was happening with that. So can we give it to our dogs? <laughs> oh, absolutely. And the dogs love it. We actually have a pet line. And, uh, and yeah, you give it to dogs, dogs with, when you're doing with dogs, we got the olive oil and avocado oil seem to work well with dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh, MCT oil tends to go through your dog. So, probably <laughs> only, you know, <laughs> dog, so, so, and uh, basically we just put it in the food, mix it in the food. They, they don't even notice. Have to try that yeah. That's what piqued my interest initially. I remember Charlie Robinson's cat story. He said his cat was oh, like yeah. kind of like really old and kind of decrepit. And then the C60 just like you brought it back. Made it, it, it did. Yeah. Huh, we're definitely going to try it. Well, I'll just tell you, the chemistry of it is eventually they found, and the reason that C60, they found that C60 only reacts with two oxidative radicals. One is superoxide. That's basically an oxygen with an extra electron. And usually in our body, SOD, superoxide, dismutase, along with catalase, take care of that one. And that's mainly produced in the mitochondria. And then the other is the hydroxyl ion. That's basically a water molecule missing a proton. So it's got that extra electron there. And so these are negatively charged oxidative radicals. They like to stick to a positively charged C60. Po C60 is unique. It doesn't, most positively charged molecules give an electron to the environment. C60 actually takes hydrogen ions from the environment and stores it up to six of them inside the cage-like structure. Mm -hmm. And then when an oxidative radical sticks to it, it actually uses those hydrogen items to, to neutralize the oxidative radical and resets itself. So that's its secret. That's why C60 is characterized as several hundred times more powerful than other antioxidants because it can reset itself again and again and again, you know, dozens or hundreds of times a second, whichever environment it is. And that's that's its real secret. And it has no toxicity. And that's because it doesn't, it only interacts with those two oxidative radicals, which are the two most damaging oxidative radicals. And the body doesn't use them as signaling molecules. Things like the nitrogen oxides, they're oxidative radicals. You have to have a certain amount of oxidative radicals and antioxidants. There's like a balance there. Mm -hmm. And so that's, and so, cause the body uses things like nitrogen oxides, they're oxidative radicals and they, they dilate or shrink your capillaries. Right. 
That's really important. And uh, for a whole bunch of reasons. And then there's also hydrogen peroxide that's used as a, uh, as a signaling molecule. C60 doesn't react with that. And also there's some based on sulfur, iron, and zinc. And, uh, and, and those, those are oxidative radicals the body uses for signaling molecules. That's why C60 has no toxicity. And even at any level, because it's only dealing with the two oxidative species that aren't used by the body for signaling molecules. And uh, whereas other antioxidants like NAC or vitamin E, you, you know, you can, you can overdose on it, but you can't do that with C60. Now, so what I'm gathering is there is no like bad interactions between 60, C60 and taking other supplements or have you guys noticed any kind of? Well, if you take C60, like you want to take C60 maybe in the morning because it does kind of have a stimulatory effect. And if you take it late at night, it might keep you up. Uh, also, you know, you can take it with food. In fact, that we recommend that if you've never done oils, but maybe not with so many, something with a lot of high fiber that could absorb that oil. So, you know, okay. you can take it with your proteins in the morning, which okay. is you know typical. That would be fine. Or in your coffee, that would be fine. Because if you never digested an oil before, the C60 is in an oil. The C60 mm -hmm. isn't the problem. It's the oil. So, you know, of if course. you're a keto person, you, you're, you're, you're used to digesting oils, but you've never done it before. Take it with a little bit of food. So until your, your body will adapt in about a month or so, and then you can take it straight uh, in, but uh, it's, it doesn't, it, it's, it's, you know, when you first do it, just be careful. And, uh, <laughs> there is, there is one counter indication I need to talk about. And uh, one of the things that C60 does is C60 works in the mitochondria, which are the little, for your listeners out there, the little powerhouses of the cell, they have their own DNA and they make ATP, which is the uh, precursor molecule for all, for, 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 uh, which is the energy molecule for all 95% of the metabolism, your cell runs off ATP. So the C60, as we get older, a lot of things like the SOD and catalase that used to take care of superoxide produced in the mitochondria, it's one of, it's like its main thing goes down. And so the mitochondria have to actually tune themselves down so you're not making as much ATP. The other thing, especially in your endocrine system, uh, the, the mitochondria make pregnenolone, which is the precursor molecule for all the hormones. And so when you take C60, People notice, well, my sleep's better. That's because your pineal gland is now producing more melatonin or the human growth hormone is in your pituitary thyroid gland or pituitary hypothalamus. That's going on. You can get uh, more T3 and T4 produced. But in the adrenals, it also, the adrenals start turning back on. Now, the adrenals produce the androgens and that's like, that. they get turned into the sex hormones. That's one of the side effects of C60. <laughs> There's an increase in libido. But one of the other things that the, they, and, and that they produce is mineral corticoids. And that controls like the salt, the mineral levels in your blood. And so if you're like on a blood, you're older and you're on a blood thinner because your blood's too thick and you take C60, it can make your blood like back to where it should be in a more normal range. And if you're taking a blood thinner, then it could, your blood can become too thin. So if you're taking, uh, if you're going to, if you're taking blood thinners, make sure you consult with your doctor and do a lot more testing because the underlying problem will go away. And it, it takes a little, also, it also takes a little longer with if you're on hormone replacement therapy. Like we had a guy, he was seven years old. I guess he went into his doctor's. He was kind of sluggish and he, he found he had a testosterone level of 350. So his doctor gave him creams. So he was up in the mid, mid uh, 700s or something. And then he, uh, he started taking C60 and three months later goes to his doctor and he's got testosterone of 1200. So his doctor, uh -huh. creams. so he's a seven year old guy. So, so that's something too, you might just, uh, you might want to test. So if you're taking, and we found a lot of people have gotten off their thyroid medication with C60. It doesn't happen overnight. It usually takes like six months to a year. So if you're doing any hormone replacement therapy, you might want to just get more testing, consult with your doctor, get more testing because you might not be needing that, those hormone replacement therapy anymore. Of course. Yeah. No, that's super interesting because I suffer with yeah. adrenal fatigue as well. And that was a result of my doctors keeping me on a steroid for two years and it messed everything up, whether it was mast cell activation, you know, or my adrenal fatigue. And now I'm working to rebuild my cortisol levels and kind of balance out my androgens because I've got too much DHT, oh, okay. um, which as you know, may cause hair loss and stuff. And so knowing that it not only helps with hair loss, but also with adrenal issues to help rebalance those things and your cortisol levels, because some days my cortisol is at like zero because, you know, my adrenals haven't fully turned back on and are really working the way they should anymore because they were suppressed and being pumped up for so long with fake stuff. Yeah, because uh, the adrenals have three levels. 
three things. They got an outside, a middle level, and then the interior. And each one of them produces a different set of hormones. Yeah. And so I don't know what the steroid was, but, you know, it, it can interfere with like one of the layers and not the other two or two yeah. of the layers and not the other one. And then everything gets out of balance. And and then, yeah, it, it takes, yeah, trying to re-get and regain balance like that is pretty hard. I know I was even able to stop the steroid, but then I had to go back on it just because of my adrenal glands couldn't keep up, even though I didn't need it anymore for the sickness I had, which you should never be using steroids for that yeah. long anyway. Mm -hmm. So it was, and then liver issues after that. So it just kind of escalated. And that's really what sent me on my journey of this like mega natural health stuff is just because doctors hand some of these things out like candy and they don't stop to think about what could be going on. And, and so it's like, you really kind of have to take your health into your own hands and be your, your own doctor. If you really want your, your health to thrive, not just survive, but thrive. Yep. Yeah. And, and a lot of things that take a long time to happen also take a long, long time. Cause it took like seven months for, for my uh, macular degeneration to go away. And I just had Drew's the mild form, Gary, he had like really hard stuff. So it took like a year and a half. And, uh, and like getting adrenals or thyroids, these things take two, three yeah. years. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not, it's not an overnight. And the longer it is that you've had something, the, uh, the, the longer, and, and actually when you take C60, the first things you'll notice, like mental clarity, any, any <clears throat> cells in your body that have a lot of mitochondria, that's the first thing you notice. Like for instance, the retina in my eye, which, you know, which is macular degeneration, it it's, it's part of, it's actually part of the brain. So, and nerve cells are just packed full of mitochondria. You know, your brain's what, three pounds in your body. It uses 20% of the energy. So that's where people see mental clarity, brain fog goes away. They get the focus back. And then, then it works into the adrenals. And then you also notice increases in muscles, muscle efficiency. That's like with our athletes, they'll, they'll work we it out. We love that. We are athletes for sure. Yeah. We love our gym time. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then later you'll, you'll get, as your body rebuilds, because one of the things, C60 doesn't cure, prevent, or treat any disease. It just lifts the oxidative burden the cells are under. And then the cells can now operate the way that they used to be. And and then, you know, they say our body rebuilds itself every seven years. And then, but the problem is when you're under oxidative stress, your, you know, your proteins and other substances your body are making aren't maybe being made correctly or they're damaged because the oxidative thing damages them. So as you rebuild your body, over time, that's when you get other notices. Because you know, like my nerve damage from crashing my motorcycle, it, <laughs> it didn't go over. It, it didn't go away. It took you know several months before I noticed it because some of it just had stayed around for years, and then after a while, it just kind of went away. And it's just or a minor yeah. fraction of what it is. And so that that didn't happen overnight. And that's some of that. Some of that took a couple of years because I had a few crashes. So it, <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's in that category. Well, you're braver than we are. I wouldn't drive a motorcycle in Northern Virginia where we live, but <laughs> well, I, I didn't go on the roads. I'm not that crazy. I just did dirt biking. So, oh, okay. cool. so yeah, that's well, when I crashed. It was my own fault. I went off the road, hit a tree or something like that. <laughs> I, I, it's that's yeah. I know I would never go on the roads. That's just, I had friends that drive on the roads and the ones that are still alive and they, sometimes they get, you know, they drink too much and they, and they all get together and do party scar or do their scar stories, you know, oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. so it's, it's, you, know you know, they're driving down the road. Somebody pulls right in front of them. You're driving mm -hmm. down the road, somebody just right. changes lanes, don't even see them. You know, you're you're on like little two wheels thingy, and they're in this big giant steel box, and you're gonna lose. Now, so yeah, I, I never had the courage to actually drive a motorcycle on the streets. Now my brother was skinned by his. My family's like a big anything with engines kind of family, you know. So they love their motorcycles, their dirt bikes, but he got skinned because he was just wearing shorts and a t-shirt and <sighs> I went out and yeah. he had to get skin no. grafts everywhere. So I, I've seen the firsthand dangers of it. Yeah. It's yeah. It's just, it's just one of those things. Yeah. It's just keep, just drive them off the road. <laughs> That's yeah. all. Dirt bike. That's less, uh, <laughs> less, less scary. All right. Well, it, it's C60 to me, no brainer as a part of the daily routine. We're actually between bottles. So we're about to restart yeah. our, uh, yeah, but, um, the avocado oil that we took, we had the, uh, what was the size? 24 ounce. Was that it? Uh, yeah, the big 16, 16, ounce. Or 16. 16 ounce. Yeah. yeah, that's the big, the big size. Yeah, we had it. That lasted a long time. The one I gave my parents, uh, they've been using it. I mean, I think my mom, honestly, is the one that uses it. My dad, I don't know <laughs> if he kept up with his daily dose, but I know my mom really appreciated it as well. So, um, yeah, but Ken, thank you for being here and explaining to us and mm -hmm. our audience uh, kind of like the technical at a technical level um, why this is so like revolutionary and so good for us. Yeah, and, and yeah, it's, it's anti-inflammatory, so it really works good on skin issues. Uh, topically, 
And uh, like mosquito bites, you get bit by a mosquito, you put C60 on about 20 minutes later, the itching goes away. So oh, that's amazing. I'm going to start keeping it in like a spray bottle. Like <laughs> the rashes, if you get burnt or something, just rub it on the burn and, or the infected kind of thing. It's, and it really helps. Uh, it gets rid of the, uh, the inflammation and some people use it on their joints, like knee joints and, uh, and our, you know, hands, hand joints, you know, for that. And, but, and, and we found that other people use, add a little DMSO to it. I don't know if you, you've heard of that no. before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. DMSO is like a, uh, a natural, I can't remember the name of it. It's a sulfur based thing. And it's like a, a, a natural solvent that's non-toxic to humans. And so you can okay. use DMSO with anything and it just, it'll just drive it right into your joints because it kind of just goes right into your body with it. Ah. So that's a, yeah, you should check if anything like a topically applied thing. If you want to get in deep into your knees, joints, a little DMSO just drives it. I'm not a medical doctor, not giving medical advice. <laughs> of course, of course. Things for me. Okay. You sound pretty well read though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was a research scientist and, and I went, but in, you know, I wasn't really expecting what the C60 Purple Power Company to happen. I just, you know, I made it for my friend, Gary. I was making it for, you know, mine, for myself and my friends and family. And then I, and I gave it to my alternative healthcare pr- practitioners and they really liked it. They gave it to their patients. They had good results. And one thing led out to another. And, and actually the whole C60 industry took off when Cliff High mentioned it to Sarah Westall. Cause I'd been giving C60 to like internet and fluid source. I liked and. One day he mentioned how it helped him and his wife's health. And that was kind of how the whole C60 book took story. So now it went from like pre pre adapter to like pre adapter. And, and so like the woo woo space and the alternative space, you know, where you're out in crypto lands or something, people yeah. have heard about and know about C60, but for the mass, the population out there, you know, the average person, especially one that watches TV, they probably haven't heard anything about C60 at all. Yeah, I use alternative health doctors as well. And we talk about C60 sometimes too, because I was on that regimen of NAC and glutathione, you know, which work to do similar things such as reducing the free radicals in the body, except I was on glutathione for so long. It turned me so white. I'm very naturally tan, but I was like <laughs> what, ghost white, like no, no life in me white, um, you know, and now she's starting to recommend it. She wasn't as familiar with it, you know, and I brought the bottle into her and showed her about it. And now I think she's promoting it as well. Hopefully purple power, because that's yeah, what I got her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, 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 you know, there, there are some good companies out there besides us. I'm not saying we're the only one. But uh, just remember the three things. You want 99.99%. You want it sublimated and you want it dissolved in a good oil gotcha. and uh, healthy oil. And if you do those three, then, you know, you, you've got a good product, no matter who you're buying it from. So, of course, yeah. we would like you to buy it from C60 Purple Power. But, <laughs> but there we have friendly competitors that make great products, too. So. Yeah, I had seen that one other competitor. I don't remember the name, but I do remember that the price range for anybody that has checked out the links, which will be in the description, uh, the price range was pretty much the exact same. So if you want the like real stuff, the high quality 99.9%, uh, it looks like it's pretty much, you're going to expect to, you know, be well, similar. Yeah. Yeah. Actually we're all raising our prices too. It's uh, we've been, we haven't raised our prices since 2016 and mm-hmm. really and, uh, since the company formed, I think, and now or to that, whatever it was. And now we've we're, we're been forced to, we, our bottles went up 120%. That's crazy. Yeah, her yeah. family's in manufacturing in the food space, so she sees a little bit of that too. Yeah, we oh, yeah, know. it's and yeah, and C sixty costs more by weight than gold, and just that's crazy. and it's that's it's yeah, it's just yeah, and no, oils have gone up. It just oh, it's unbelievable. Well, everybody yeah. knows it. You go down to the gas station. I know. You yeah. Know, I, I like those stickers that I see now, the the O'Biden stickers. You ever yes, see <laughs> we actually. <laughs> I did that. Them. I go down to the station, and they're just <laughs> everywhere. It's it's pretty funny, and uh, yeah, to get, go to the grocery store. It's just it's just good. Things are just ridiculous, and uh, yeah, and Putin didn't cause this. Sorry, you yeah, can't, can't blame yeah, Putin for everything. That. You know, he's under. Your <laughs> It sure was convenient, the timing, though. Uh, yes, it was. For so, a number yeah. of reasons. <laughs> it's always good to blame, you know, some somebody else rather than really to face the facts of where it's coming from. Absolutely. We yep. are wholeheartedly agreeing with that. Well, we're blaming Big Pharma for uh, a lot of our, you know, maybe health problems. And we're looking towards alternative solutions. I'm happy it led us to, amongst other things, C60. Oh, yeah. And, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. We could talk. Yeah, that's probably something on Charlie's show. <laughs> yeah 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 that's you talk about that though they yeah did he get banned on is he still on youtube uh you know i was just thinking that i didn't look though um i don't i never even like i never even look for him on youtube honestly i just subscribe okay, yeah I, I do bit shoot now it's just there's occasional something you know if i want to watch cute cat videos i'll probably go to youtube <laughs> 
He's still on YouTube. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, oh, that's good. He's still there. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Cause everybody, most everybody I know has been kicked off YouTube. Yeah. That makes sense, right? It's similar yeah. with us, but it seems like we are following the same kind of trends on what we watch. Well, BitChute's yeah. getting big too. So, I mean, like, I, I put, I post to like a bunch of different places, but oh, I noticed yeah. there's some channels like, on BitChute yeah. with like over 100,000 subscribers. So they're doing wow. something right over there. And the funny thing is, is all those things that people got banned for this last two years. Yep. Everything they got banned for has been proved correct. Of course. <laughs> everything, everything that they got banned for, all everything that they said that oh, it's fake news has now been shown to actually be true and is now docu well documented and they can't even deny it anymore. So, you know, it's it gets to the point where, you know, whenever they see they they ban somebody for saying something, it means it's probably true. I know. And, it's and it's scary. Yeah, those fact checkers, if you have see who pays their bills well exactly uh, that's yeah, why exactly. they're always protected wrong. opinion remember? <laughs> exactly it's gotten yeah. to be crazy I, you know I, I i missed like four years ago when none of this was around i know yes it's really if you can't discern the difference between objective truth and narrative it's mm -hmm. not easy to exist in this world you know that's one thing yeah. that i've noticed turn off your tv that's the first step and then, Ooh. and then your mental, your mental state and uh, health will greatly improve. Yeah, I believe we that. couldn't agree more. Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, Ken, man, thank you for being here. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to share with us? I mean, I really appreciate your time. I don't want to take up too much of it. Um, that's about it. I mean, uh, you can go to the C60 Purple Power site, and uh, we've, you know, we've had. Uh, we can't make health claims or say anything, you know, publicly on that because we have been, we and actually several, most of the other C60 companies got that little letter. Oh, so, uh, so we got uh, from a three letter agency. So, but, they, but you know, that's, that kind of goes on, but there's lots of stuff you can research directly on the internet. The very basic there is, there's going to be a, there's a site. What is C60? I'm not sure if it's up, it's up and it's down every now and then. And that has a lot of good links. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can do your own research. And just kind of uh, learn about it yourself, and uh, it's and and the thing about good if you want good health, I mean it's it's a journey. It is, and and it's you know C60 is just one tool in the toolkit. It's not it's 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 not a magic pill. You got to do all those other things, and you really have to be your second. You also have to be do research and be your own second opinion, because if oh, a yeah. doctor or other health person tells you this uh it's it's not just go to another one and they'll just probably tell you the same thing you need to go out there and research whatever it is if you're going to get a surgery or a procedure or whatever it is you need to go out there and research it yourself and and uh, from all and, and you know you need to go down to like the 10th page yes that's me results. yeah that before me. you're going to see because everything else is just you know or go to the uh, alternative you know platforms because yeah and it's it's not easy it's harder than it used to be but it's i mean it's, it's not easy to find the information and uh, getting good health, you know, takes a lot of work exercising and eating right. And uh, it costs more too. So, but it's, it's, if you want to get good health, you can get it. And if you want to actually know what's going on out there, you can find it. And oh, learn yes. it. it's just everything takes effort and you have to work for it. And, but that's good because, you know, then you really appreciate it when you finally do achieve it. Couldn't agree more. Agreed. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again for being here, Ken. We really appreciate it. Uh, everybody, thank you for watching until the end. Seriously, we appreciate you as well. Please drop a like, please subscribe, and please check out the links to C60 Purple Power and Shop C60. They will be in the description.